on his 2014 Jeep Patriot. We're going to take a look at the best wiring options available. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the wire options. We have one from Hopkins. This is part number HM1114217. Our next one is from Kurt. This is part number C56162. And one from Takancha, part number 118552. Okay, now these are all going to perform the same function, so let's go ahead and cover their similarities first. They're all going to come standard with a four pole flat trailer connector, industry standard, so it'll fit all different brands. You don't have to have matching brands on the four poles. Now, all the wire harnesses will come with uh, connectors right here that'll match up perfectly to the OEM ones that are behind your taillight. All of these wire harnesses also require power from the battery for them to operate. You can see they have all the black wire for that purpose. Now, all our wire harnesses require to be grounded to the vehicle. Uh, this, they all require uh, this white wire to ring terminal to be attached to sheet metal underneath the vehicle or behind the taillight. Next up are all the modules, are these little black boxes here. Now, they all do the same purpose. They take power from the red wire or black wire, whichever model you use, and it takes that uh, power from the battery and it copies the signals that go into the box and transfers that signal out to your four pole flat. So if all our wire harnesses, if there's any shorts on your trailer, it stays on your trailer and doesn't interfere with any wiring on your vehicle causing blown fuses. All right, let's go ahead and cover some differences. It could be minor, but we'll take a look at them. First off, we're still with our modules here. This is a large flat module, so you can hide it against uh, some sheet metal behind the taillight or inside the vehicle if you run it that way as well. Uh, so it's kind of low profile and lends itself to being uh, attached to some highway places. If you got some long self-tapping screws, you can run them through here, or if you run some thin zip ties and hold it up as well. Now our Kurt is the same flat profile, but it does rely on adhesive uh, to hold it in place. And our one from Takancha comes with adhesive as well. And also, if you want, you can use a screw or zip tie this uh, loop to whatever you want on the vehicle. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the wires themselves. If you look at the four pole wire harness here, uh, it does have nice uh, a covering already, put in from the factory to help bundle up the wires and protect them. But you notice it has a small gauge wires compared to our Kurt and our Takancha. Now let's go ahead and talk about the power output. Granted, all these wire harnesses are great for trailers that have like two taillights in the back and maybe one or two side barker lights, more than adequate. Now if you have LED lights in the trailer, all these modules won't even feel them out there because they take so much little current. Uh, just to give you an idea on how much power they put out, this will use a 15 amp fuse. So that when it's maxed out, it'll, use, it'll, put up, it'll go up to 15 amps of current. On our uh, Kurt here, this is, uh, has a 10 amp fuse that comes with the kit on that one. So it's limited to 10 amps total. A little bit different between your, your running light circuit and your turn signal circuits. And then our Takancha here is back up to 15 amp. If you're just gonna use, uh, just as like I said, just simple tail lights, two tail lights, two running lights, maybe the Kurt's all you need to go. Uh, if you're gonna run something a little more than that, uh, say if you're going to switch this out to a, a seven pole connector or a six pole connector and try a lot more lights, uh, chances are either the Hopkins or the Takancha is going to be rated for more of those purposes. And that'll finish it for the best wiring options available for a Jeep Patriot. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.